All right, guys, so I got home from California maybe five minutes ago. First thing I had to do, pick up this little buddy. So he was staying with a friend who had other dogs. He had a blast, but really good to have him back. So heading home, getting some stuff done, hitting the gym, eating some food. I lost some weight, I'll show you guys. And I'll talk about NTC a little bit. All right, guys, so I am home. Right now it is about 5 p.m. I've been up since 2 a.m. Just like doing pre-manifest, driving to the airport, and then flying from California to, to Texas. So where have I been the last month? Some of you guys know what's going on, some of you probably not. I was at Fort Irwin, California, uh, and Fort Irwin is like this tiny base, and they're primarily there to train other units. So 10 brigades a year go through Fort Irwin, and there's a unit there specifically that acts as like a fake enemy, and they train as like a regular unit, but you're like fighting force on force to get a really good training value out of it, and it was pretty good. Uh, but it's four weeks long. The first week you get there and you're kind of just like prepping all your vehicles, prepping everything and, and getting ready to go to the field. The field itself is two weeks. And then the last week is kind of like recovery. And they give you like seven to eight days for recovery. And we got all of our stuff done in like 72 hours. So the last four days, I've been sitting around doing nothing, driving me crazy. But I was able to work out and start tracking macros a little bit. Uh, and overall, I've lost about 10 pounds. So I left a month ago around 213, 214. And now I'm weighing about around, I'd say 203, 204. I'll talk about my training, what I've been doing the last week, a little bit later in this video, but I'm back, needless to say, and I'm really happy to be back. So some things that came in the mail while I was gone, this is something I ordered right when we get back from the field, when we got our phones back. Uh, so this is a company by Matt Vincent. Uh, I found out about them, or him, by Campbell Fitness, Brandon Campbell, and he has like t-shirts and and a hat, and I'm meaning to pick this one up, so pull the trigger and got it. And then something I'm really excited to try out, which this company reached out and sent some, some stuff to me. I'm sure you guys have heard of them, Buff Bake. They make like flavored uh, nut butters. So this one, red velvet protein peanut spread. Let's see, the macros are 14 fat, 9 carb, 11 protein. So I got red velvet, white chocolate, snickerdoodle. That's a Almond butter, sounds pretty good. This one is a chocolate chip, and then this is pumpkin spice. So all these sound really good. I heard really good things, so I'll try these out in the next couple of videos. All right, so the physique update, obviously you can see no sort of manscaping for the last month, which is gonna be taken care of tonight. Um, but I definitely lost weight, so I lost about 10 pounds, and majority of it being muscle. Reason being is for 14 days I was just eating MREs. I mean, the nutrition wasn't there. Um, we weren't doing any kind of working out. It was mainly just running 24 seven missions. Uh, in between that, you're resting as much as possible and you're just staying busy the entire time you're out there. So I literally didn't change uniforms the entire 14 days. I changed like t-shirts and socks, but my ACUs, like my, my camouflage uniform, didn't change at once. If you saw the picture I posted on Instagram getting back, I was a mess, I was so dirty. Um, but I've been working out the past week, so size has been coming back, strength is coming back in a little bit, but those first couple workouts, absolutely brutal with like local muscular endurance. So I'm about to hit the gym right now. Um, this will be my first time taking pre-workout in a month, so maybe I'll feel a little bit better. But it's gonna be a back workout, we'll see what I can do. So down the hatch with some flight, First time taking pre-workout in one month, this is gonna hit me hard. He is worn out. So where he was staying, there were two other dogs, and they just played, from what she said, they just played the entire time he was there. So I mean, right now at six o'clock, it's already getting dark out, which is ridiculous. I hate this time of the year because, you know, it just feels like the days go by so fast. Leroy. Leroy. So this is my eighth workout since being back from the field. As soon as we got back from the box or the 14 days we spent in the field, we had the opportunity to use one of the gyms that was on the main post. 
Now where we were located was kind of in an enclosed fenced in area specifically for the National Training Center. And then the people that are permanently located there or stationed there can use this gym. And it was pretty nice. It had everything you needed. And we ended up working out at 5 a.m. every morning as soon as they opened up. You know, I had the time to do two a days, but I wanted to keep it light because after not working out for three weeks, things just weren't feeling right like they used to. You know, you take some time away from the gym, you come back, you can't go 100%. You got to ease into it. And there were guys that were with me that were trying to go 100% and ended up hurting themselves and, you know, could only lift one or two days. So I kept, I'd say, my weights around 60 to 80% of what I was doing previously or what I could handle. I didn't go to failure on any sets and I was staying within a rep range that I had pre-established before going into the workout. And I was working with a push-pull legs routine, um, and I think the hardest part getting back into this workout was legs. My legs were sore for like three days, extreme doms after this, but I'm at the point now where I'm hitting my muscle groups for the third time since being back, and everything's feeling a lot better. I'm starting to feel stronger. This is only my second deadlift workout since being back at the gym after taking some time off. And my last workout, I was working with around 405 pounds for five reps or four sets. Today, I jumped to 455 pounds, and that local muscular endurance is definitely coming back. Um, it'll be a few weeks until I'm back to where I was and my weight starts coming back up. But what I'm going to start doing is a bulk over the winter. Now, I have tryouts for a new unit here in the next couple weeks, um, so I'm still not going to worry about endurance and running. And as long as I can keep my run time down pretty low, around the, the low 13s, high 12s, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, but after those tryouts, I'm gonna go on a pretty moderately heavy bulk and try to get up to 225. The highest I've ever been was about 220, uh, a little less than that in college. So I wanna get up there again. Hi, thanks for calling Pizza Hut. My phone number is... Yeah, we'll go to pizza. Can I get the, the Pizza Hut Skinny Chicken Club? Can I also get an order of breadsticks, please? So since I have been gone for the last month, I literally have nothing to eat. I'm running low. And in my cupboard, I have nothing either, so I'm about to head to the grocery store after I eat dinner. So I'll show you what I picked up. So I stopped by Pizza Hut, and I got one of the skinny chicken clubs. I've had this before, it's really good. And the macros are pretty good. The reason I like these is because you can eat it, and you know, you don't feel like super greasy or just gross when you're done. If I get like a, a regular pizza and then some other stuff, for like a cheat meal, sometimes at night and in the morning my stomach just hurts. And then on the side here, I also got an order of breadsticks. So this is kind of like my cheat meal, welcome home after losing 12 pounds in the field. Uh, earlier today, I kind of just grabbed some stuff yesterday at the shop at before leaving. I'll show you what I had today so far. Was two packets of tuna, a Quest bar, a bowl of Raisin Bran Crunch and an apple. Meal two was a protein shake. Uh, two of these Ostrom, uh, they're like protein sticks, 15 grams of protein per stick. I had two of those, a Cliff Bar, the Sierra Trailer is my favorite. And then uh, right before the gym, I had a cup of oatmeal and a scoop of protein. So this is my dinner. Uh, I'm still really close to my macros of what I've been estimating because today's food was kind of low. So this will help fill in some carbs, protein. I think the macros per slice for this pizza is roughly nine grams of fat, 25 gram of carb, and I think 11 or 12 grams of protein per slice. All right, so some late night grocery shopping. A little fun fact about me, kind of just because I had Pizza Hut earlier, but when I was younger, we did like the, I forget what it was called, I think Book It, where you know where you read books in elementary school and then you get like coupons, and then eventually you get enough to get like a personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut. And the Pizza Hut, my family, my mom and dad used to take us to, they had like this jukebox, and this is the song I played every time. You say that you love them, and you really know it. Everything that used to matter, don't matter no more. Like my money on my car. All right, so I didn't get everything. Um, Walmart was kind of just like running low on a lot of stuff, but I got enough to get me started on tomorrow's full day of eating video. So let me show you what I got here. All right, so starting with the carbs. Cereal wise, uh, I got some Good Mornings, which is one of my favorites. Now I love Frosted Flakes, so this is a newer one. I like anything that's like kind of more crunchier. So these energy clusters and then Honey Nut Cheerio uh, that has like the crunchy medley in there too. 
some more oatmeal just for some overnight oats. I go back to work on Tuesday. I have tomorrow off. Bananas, um, some coffee, mainly because I saw this. So sugar-free pumpkin spice. I missed all of October, so I gotta kinda make up for it. 15 calories per serving. And then I'll just throw in some Splendid packets in there with the coffee. Condiments back here, just uh, ketchup, Stubbs barbecue sauce. And then this is a new flavor of French's honey mustard. It's like 10 calories per serving, so I don't weigh this stuff out. But a uh, Dijon mustard instead of just regular honey mustard. Some Nestle morsel chocolate chips for overnight oats, as well as some sugar free, fat free cheesecake jello mix. I got almond milk, Canadian bacon, Jones's Canadian bacon, which has really good macros. Um, some chicken tenderloins. Now, the only time I ever buy chicken tenderloins is if I plan on making cornflake breaded fried chicken. So I'm gonna make that tomorrow in tomorrow's video. And just some eggs, egg whites. Uh, for veggies, I have green beans, spaghetti squash. I've been buying spaghetti squash like once every couple months and I don't use it, it goes bad. So I'm planning on using this tomorrow. Uh, some spring mix just for salads. And then whole wheat bread, everything bagels. Some 2% sharp cheddar cheese and a bag of rusted potatoes. But that wraps up the video guys. I wanted to get this one out there. Um, one more thing I want to check. Last time I checked my subscribers, I was two away from 20,000. So let's see if I hit it. If I did, this actually, this video marks my one year on YouTube as well. So my first video last year was October 22nd. Um, so this is the, the first video of the year mark. All right, two away. So by the morning, I should have hit 20,000. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate the support while I was gone, and I will see you guys in the next video.